Hi, this is Jilly Bling of JillyBling.com, and I have another project using the Quite Curvy Bundle. I'm going to do three in this um, project box. I already did the Christmas, um, Curvy Christmas sample, and this one is focusing on the sand designer paper, and the next one will be using spruce designer paper not quite sure what it's going to be but what do you think is this adorable or what look at those little birds they're so cute so this card i found online and it was from stampin up artisan narel look at the inside isn't it cute and it used a lot of the products from this bundle okay so let's get started. Um, this one is done in purple, and I want to do one in blue. And I'll be using these. Can you see them? Crumb cake, peacock, balmy, lifter, olive, and sea foam for this next project. Okay, so put these over here. Keep this hair. You know, I was going to say it'll probably have the same layout. But I'm wondering if I could do it this way. You know, I might try that. Okay, so quite curvy, we'll use that. Curvy Christmas comes in the bundle, but won't use that. For additional word options, I'm gonna use the stamp set Beautiful Friendship, just because I really like the words. And we'll be using the dies. The dies are called curvy dies. We'll be using those. Okay, um, I have little notes here. So you get your choice of four different foil papers, copper, champagne, gold, or silver. And that's to make these little cutouts right here. Um, so if you can, Cut your paper to fit the die before you run it through just because if your um, cutting plate isn't perfectly brand new you're going to get this lovely texture in it can't you see how lovely that is um, so when you run the first one through the other half will have the texture on it but don't worry because when you put the die on here it smushes out any of the random yucky texture but I just don't want you to run this big piece through each time. So just cut it to fit before you run it through. And, okay, so we're done with that. Done with your foil options. This piece came out of here. And I could leave it, I'll leave it in the box. But when you go to line up the die to do this curvy piece, um, it goes together really easily. I don't think you'll need it, but I'll leave it in there just in case. And just one note before I get into making the card, when you use this die right here, turn it over, one side of it, this outside curvy piece, cuts the paper smooth. This inside piece with the dots does not cut the paper. It just makes the dots only. So here's the cutting edge. This one was cut like this. And this one was cut like that. And I have a feeling that you're probably like, you know what, I lost you. But once you start cutting your paper for the front, this piece right here, you'll say, oh, I need to pay attention. So bottom line, what it boils down to is one side cuts, the other side just leaves dots and does not cut your paper. That will make sense in just a minute. Okay, so I'll leave this in the box just in case. We'll be using this. Here's our little sample. Here's lots of bits and pieces. So usually I just take what's on top and I start building elements, but this time let me start by working from the bottom of the card up 
it doesn't matter which way you go. I know that we're going to be using all these pieces. So for now, I'm going to find the base paper. Pull that in half. Okay. Next, I see the designer paper. Right here. This side is um, season neutral. This side is Christmas trees. So I'm going to use this one. So adhesive on the Christmas trees. Okay, goes right there. Next is this white top layer. So here it is. It's not cut yet. So we're going to be using this curvy die. And you could just lay it on here and think about what kind of curve you want it to have. And then also, when you look at the sample, see how much this is maybe an inch and a quarter. And that's maybe um, three quarters of an inch. But just adjust the die. I'm looking at how much is here and how much is here. And you can tell I've been using washi tape. My plates are a little bit warped, which makes things move around. Um, I might need more washi tape. Hold on. Okay. So there's that. I'm going to run it through here. Okay, so I have this piece ready. Then I'll just put it over just a little bit. And I'll run it through just like that. So there's the two pieces. And if you're thinking, oh no, I ran through, you know what, I should leave this one just like that. I ran through this side first. That's okay. You could just flip it over. Oh, this one I'm going to try to do this way. Okay. You know, I'll, I'll leave it like that. And then I'll put the words up here. Yeah, I'm going to flip them over because I want the words down here. Okay, so for this piece here, let's use dimensionals and attach these two white um, die cut pieces. So our internet has been down for a week. Which means I can't do anything. Just came up last night. Woohoo! Back in business. What a relief. I don't know if you could see, but there was the bird die on my cutting plate, and I didn't realize it. Ran it through, and now I have a lovely impression of bird die. I kind of want to cover that up. Okay, so when I put this on, I'm looking at the bottom corners. And I'm going to try to have them centered right here. So all three sides, one, two, three, they're all equal. Okay. So there's that part. So now for this. I'm going to use a scrap paper. And I'm going to stamp the ivy stamp on here. See this large ivy stamp? And then this one is more of the floral. So I'm going to stamp one of these. And then to get little flowers to put on my ivy, I'm going to stamp two of this floral piece. And you know what? While I'm at it, I might as well stamp two birds. Okay, so memento ink. Ivy.
pretty. And the two floral. Oh, and just to FYI, you're probably thinking it looks that size, but here it's bigger. That's because right down here it says image is 95%, so they reduced it just a little bit so it perfectly fits on the cover, which is great. It's great that you could see it over here. Um, but don't cut your paper to fit the image on the front of the box. Not that I've done that a few times over. Okay, floral. And I need to do one more of these floral. Okay, and two birds, one, there's three birds in this set, I don't know why I chose these, and there's three dies, there's dies for everything in this, here's the three birds, all adorable. Okay, so now I'm going to die cut the ivy, of course I have to use washi tape. Ivy, bird number one. If ever your dies are close to touching, use your snips to cut the images apart because I've had a die run over another die and it leaves a big indent in that one and then this one doesn't cut so good. Not good. Okay. There's another bird. So I'm going to have to run it through two times because there's only one die for the floral, which is fine. You know, I'll do that on the second pass. So this one is going to go here. That one I'll cut out using the same die. And then use your blends and color them. Ivy, bird, bird, floral, floral, oh, and then this die here, no stamp matches with it. Well, wait, I don't, there might be, <gasps> no, that's fine. Um, okay, so run this through once, twice, oh, you might be able to get three out of there. But for this project, we're using just two of the little sprigs in copper this time. This one, they were done in champagne. Okay, so let's see how it's looking. I like all these pieces together. Okay, so let's stick down the ivy, and that is with dimensionals. Okay, and next is the flowers. So if I put them on, it would cover up all the pretty ivy. When I did this one, that's one piece. This is a piece, and I cut it off right here. Here's another piece. I put both of the flower sprigs on here. I think it's a little bit too much. So this one, I'm going to put, hopefully, less on. So, you know what, I probably should do the words so I know where to put the flowers. Okay, so this paper here is for words, made just for you. You know, I want to use something from that other set. So how about... Made with love just for you. So very happy to know you. How about if I use something different? Okay, how about birthdays? Birthdays 
are the best days. I love our beautiful friendship. Okay, those two. Outside, inside. Birthdays. There it is. Now do that in black. Memento black. Right in the middle. And then I'll use a hand punch. Oh, I see a fuzzy on there. So, if you don't have the um, the Simply Chamois to clean your stamps and you've been using wipes, this is a game changer. For the longest time I was just using wipes. And I'll show you what I'm talking about here. So on here, see this little line? That's either a piece of lint, and then over here it's a little bit distorted. That's because I used to use baby wipes. The chamois is great, and it's clean. Okay, I hope I got that fuzzy off. <laughs> it moved over to the AR. You can hardly see that one though. Okay, when you're looking at the sample, no snide comments. Okay, so which one is the best? Hmm, it's kind of driving me crazy. Let's try again. Use that, use the chamois. All those fuzzies off. Oh, I hope it's not in the ink pad. Well, you know what? I have a trick. I'll show you here in just a minute. If you have fuzzies in your ink pad or glitter, if your ink pad has yucky stuff in it, get a lint roller. These, I got them on Amazon. And, boy, it looks like a brand new pad, so it's probably not this. And yes, I am taking away a little bit of the ink, but if that's what it takes to get rid of fuzzies, it's worth it. Okay. Okay, so there's no reason for anything but perfection here. Come on. Hmm. I'm going to try one more time and then just take the best. Because this is a bit better but again, I see a fuzzy on the A. <sighs> That's perfect. Phew, four tries. I know you guys don't ever do that. So we're gonna use a storybook label punch. I like to turn it over. Get it centered. Ooh, that fits perfect in there. Look straight. Okay. I don't know what's going on here. Maybe you have little dirty things on there. You could take your have an eraser. Okay, that's where the label is going to go. Okay, so now back to assembling it. This can go on here. Building the front of the card. Ooh, maybe you could go more over here. This can cover it. You know what? I'm thinking about the bow. I have it ready. I want the bow to hold these sprigs. So 
that means I need to decide um, where the sprigs are going to go. And the words on the label are a little bit big. Maybe. Little bird here. I have to have a plan first. Little bird here. Okay, so now for these. And I colored the tips of it in crumb cake dark. I don't know. Ooh, because I said I wanted to do less. I wonder if it could go over here. It's getting a little busy. Okay, so just trim it off and then make both of the ends look Okay, they don't have to be perfect. So maybe this can be there. Okay, right there. Maybe. I want this sprig going more down. Oh, that looks good there. Here I am, just about to put everything on this card. Maybe I'll save this one for the inside. Okay. Looks good. So, to attach the flowers, I'm going to use liquid glue, but you could use your um, tape runner if you like. And I'm not worrying too much that that's just kind of cut off right there because it's a little bit busy in here. Okay, so now the birds, I think I need to stick down the label. Probably shouldn't put too many dimensionals because I want to um, tuck those copper leaves right under here. Maybe I'll drop this a little bit lower is getting busy in there. Okay, now the little birds. You know, I'm not sure where I want to put them. They're kind of the icing on the cake, so I'll hold off on those. Okay, so glue on. glue on the foil leaves. Okay, that looks good. Then I'm thinking the glue, a glue dot to stick that on. Oh, just like that. That looks good. Okay, glue dot. It covers up my words just a little bit, but it's okay. Okay, and so for these little birds, should you be hiding in there? 
now. They could be talking to each other. Okay, so I'm going to have them half on the label, the other half with the dimensional. So on the label and the dimensional up here. Yeah, it's a little busy, but somehow I like it. Okay, so here can be glue. And here is dimensional. Birthdays are the best. Okay, that came out really cute. A little bit extra. Okay, so for the inside, I have inside paper and this, but there's this extra die. And when I look at it, it looks like it cuts out just the leaves. That might be nice here at the bottom. I'd probably have to center it. I really like how this one ends and this one ends, but on the card, it's too big, and I don't want just half of it. You know what? This is resemblant of... Kind of matches this shape right here. See how that one matches this shape? Okay, so... Okay, hold on. This paper is going to go in. Okay, good. So I want to use this, and I want to use this one. So how about cut edge toward the bottom? Okay, because I think that this one will perfectly fit. Yeah, look at that. Okay, so I'm going to run this through. And now, so this is going to go in here, which is very cute, just like that. But let me try this one, this ivy thing. Look at that. So it has the impression of the vine and all the little cutouts. Let's see how that looks. Very nice. Okay, so if your cutting plates ever leave a few little freckles, take any eraser that you have or adhesive remover, and this thing just picks up all those little paper shards. And that's what they are, it's just little bits of paper from the cutting plates. I would love to have new ones for every pass, but it doesn't work out like that. Somehow, I want this... Maybe that could be below the words. Okay, so birthdays are the best days. Then what did I decide? I love our beautiful friendship. Okay, so that could go right here in Memento. Pretty. Well, that looks really good right there. Is that going to be too boring on the inside? Well, the, the outside is a lot of clay. Oh, no, that's nice. Okay, 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 here we go. Hmm. Out of adhesive.
Oh, I like it. Oh, that's kind of popping up. Um... Oh, and you know, I should probably stick this on too. I would put it on a dimensional, but for the inside of the card, that's probably not the best. Okay, I'll give it just a minute. Okay, so there is this one. Purple. Then there's the blue one. You could do it in any color flowers you want, anything you'd like. Well, I think that is it for today. I'll put still pictures of all these on my website, which now I can get to. And thank you for tuning in. If you can, hit the little like button. And until next time, have a great day. Bye.